Lovely other side. Donc là on est dans le sous-sol de l'hôpital, il y a eu une alarme qui a retenti, donc toutes les personnes qui étaient dans l'hôpital, les médecins et les patients sont venus ici, si on est donc au sous-sol, donc c'est un endroit qui est sécur, si jamais l'hôpital se fait bombarder. Il faut savoir qu'avec l'attaque qui a eu lieu à Mariupol il y a quelques jours, ici les centres hospitaliers ont peur et savent qu'ils sont une cible peut-être pas prioritaire, mais en tout cas possible pour l'armée russe. Donc le stress, l'angoisse de se faire attaquer est vraiment montée d'un cran. Everybody are terrified, but uh, our medical uh, workers and doctors actually uh, try to help everybody because we have more than 200,000 relocated persons in our city. So that's why we try to help them at the locations where temporarily they live and also they can come here and receive the treatment. It's just our underground floor where we keep uh, medications and where we can hide. Oh. It's aid that came from Europe. We just pack in here uh, or sort it to move uh, to the uh, to Kharkiv or Kyiv where uh, we can help with these medications. We are trying to uh, uh, study more about trauma because we are civil doctors. It's a new situation for us, but uh, we're trying to go for the studies, online studies with war traumas uh, to uh, help patients more. Our uh, city uh, today was sheltered, uh, was shelled by uh, cruise missile. Yeah. Here. Okay. Are you suffering from any form of PTSD or anything like stress after the explosions? Some, uh, maybe we are a little stressed, but we have no time to be scared. We need more time to fight. Are you staying in Lviv? No, no. You're going back to the east? I can uh, definitely, uh, definitely explain. I don't know. Uh, just uh, I am right now to get checked, and maybe in an hour and uh, in two hours I'll have another plan.